All right, uh, let's look at the homework uh, 6.3, uh, problem number 8. All right, so let's do part A, step 1. All right, so we're estimating the air uh, for a trapezoid ball. All right, so first uh, we take the derivative uh, of uh, natural log of x. Uh, we get uh, 1 over x, right? 1 over x is uh, x to the negative 1 power. If you take another derivative, you get, uh, let's see, x to the negative 1, so put negative 1 in front, and uh, x to the, uh, subtract 1 from the power, so it's negative 3. All right, another way to write that would be, uh, it's a negative 1 over x squared, All right? So, All right, so we have that, All right? So let's check the answer. All right, it came back. Uh, looks like we got this one correctly. All right, so let's look at the step two. All right, so when x equals three, uh, so one over uh, x is three, right? So it's one over three squared, so it's one over nine. But there's absolute value sign, so we know that it's going to be just a one over nine. All right, let's check that. All right, I came back and it looks like we got this one correctly. All right, so let's see. Let's uh, plug in everything we know here. So B minus A. So B is 7, uh, A is 3. So it's actually 4, 4 cubed. So 4 uh, cubed uh, divide by uh, 12 uh, N squared. All right, then maximum of the second derivative of f, absolute value of f will be 1 over 9. So I'm going to actually put, uh, let's see, times 9, All right? Let's see, let's simplify this. Uh, 12 has uh, uh, 4 in it, so divide by 4, you get 3. So I'm going to reduce that by, so it's going to be uh, 4 squared, right? And uh, let's see, then I, I think that's, a, that's it. So 4 squared, can, you can write it as 16, right? And then uh, 9 times 3 is uh, 27, right? So we got that. Uh, let's uh, submit. All right, uh, I came back. Uh, we got the correct answer here. All right, so we have uh, 16 over 27 and square is less than 0 0.0001. All right, so uh, let's see, we solve uh, this. So we take the square root of uh, both sides. So we're going to have to uh, take the square root of this guy. All right, so I'm going to bring out a calculator. All right, so I'm going to take the square root of both sides so that we can get n here. So square root of that. All right, so according to the calculator, uh, square root of uh, 5,925.93. I hit enter. All right, so it's going to be about, uh, let's see, round the final answer to one decimal place. So it's going to be actually set, uh, 77. Um, Point zero. So it's actually 77.0. Right? So n is going to be 77. Right? So let's uh, submit. Alright, I came back. Uh, looks like uh, we got uh, step 4 correctly. Alright? So let's stop uh, part B. Alright, so let's look at uh, step 1 of part B. All right, so here you took the first derivative, the second derivative. All right, so remember, uh, we can write this guy as a negative x to the negative 2 power. So uh, a derivative would be, let's see, 2 in, negative 2 in front, but there's a negative sign already there. Then you have x to the uh, negative, we'll subtract 1 from the power, negative 3 power. So we can write it as uh, over x cubed, right? And the next step would be, uh, 2 is already there, so uh, if you take the derivative of 2, x to the negative 3 power would be negative 6, x to the uh, negative 4 power. But we can rewrite it as uh, x to the 4 power on the bottom, right? So this is just the fourth derivative, right? Let's check the answer. 
All right, it came back. It looks like we got step one correctly. All right, step two. All right, so when x equals three, uh, absolute value of the fourth derivative of x is the largest. So all we have to do is plug in uh, three in there. So you have uh, six uh, over, uh, let's say six over, and uh, three to the fourth, three to the fourth, all right? But uh, let's see, six has three in it, so divide by three, so you have a two left, so it's a three cubed. But the three cubed is 27, so we got, yep. So two over 27, so let's submit. All right, uh, I came back, and we got the step two correctly, so here. All right, to find the error, so we just have to plug in everything we know. So we have, let's see, we, actually they did that for us. Uh, 7 minus 3 to the 5th, so it's going to be 4 to the 5th power, right? And then you have to multiply by 2. And then uh, all over, right, all over, you have a 180 uh, n to the 4th power. Then times uh, 27, right? So let's uh, simplify a bit. Uh, so there's a 2 here. So if you divide by 2, 180 becomes 0. And 180 becomes 90. Then do that, right? And uh, let's see, is it divisible by 4? Uh, maybe not, but it's divisible by 2. So let's go ahead and divide by 2. So you have a 45. And divide by 2, so it's, I'm going to reduce that to 4. And uh, so I have to multiply by 2, right? So uh, uh, 4 to divide by 2, you get 2. And uh, 90 divided by 2, 45. All right, so I think that's pretty much all we can uh, cancel, all right? So we have uh, uh, 4 to the 4th power times 2, so it's kind of a big number, so I'm going to just uh, use a calculator here. All right, so I'm going to do a 4 uh, raise it to the 4th power, and then times uh, 2, all right? So uh, 5, 12, so this is going to be uh, 5, 12. All right, also... Uh, I'm going to multiply uh, 45 times uh, 27 and hit enter. So 1215. So you're going to have uh, uh, 1215. All right. So let's uh, submit. All right. It came back and that uh, looks like uh, uh, we have the uh, step three correctly. And uh, here, step four. All right, so we have, uh, we want this quantity to be less than 0 0.0001. So if you take the reciprocal, and then they actually did, the, did it for us. And we're going to take the fourth derivative, no, not fourth derivative, fourth root of uh, 4,213.99. All right, so let's do that. All right, so fourth, uh, fourth root. So I'm going to just uh, take um, 4,213 point nine nine, and we're going to raise it to the uh, quarter power. So 1 over 4, right? Uh, fourth root is the uh, same thing as a uh, 1 quarter power, so I hit enter. All right, so it came out to be 1 decimal places, so it's going to be 8.1. All right, so this is 8.1, and n is going to be, so you have to make sure that it's going to be, uh, well, it's going to be 9, but the, since this is a Simpsons rule, we have to actually go up to 10, because n has to be an even number. All right, let's submit. All right, I came back, and it looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.